time we're given an angle measure and a side length in a right angle triangle, we can use trigonometry in order to find another side length. So now, uh, what we have to do is, using SOCATOA, identify which trig ratio is going to help us solve this problem to identify the side length of um, the value of A. So remember that the side opposite the right angle is our hypotenuse, and for angle A, the side opposite of that is side is side A. So A is our opposite, and our hypotenuse is the 10 centimeters. And so since we're dealing with the opposite and the hypotenuse, we look at Sakatoa to figure out which trig ratio we're going to use. And opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So we're going to use the fact that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine A is equal to the opposite side length divided by the hypotenuse side length. So our, uh, the value of angle A is given as 42 degrees. And so we can sub in for A is 42. And we don't know A. That's what we're looking for, the opposite side. And the hypotenuse, then, is 10. So now what we're going to do is um, use algebra to solve for A. And since this is A over 10, we have to use the, uh, divided by 10, we have to use the opposite operation, which is multiplication. So we're going to multiply both sides by 10. And 10 times A over 10 the 10s will cancel out, and we're left with just A, and equals 10 times sine 42. And so now we have to use our calculator. So first thing you have to do is make sure your calculator is set to degrees, and it's going to be 10 times, and for this calculator you have to put in the 42 before you click sine, so 42 sine equals, and it comes out to be 6.69, and the question asked us to round it to one decimal place. And so to one decimal place, A is equal to 6.7 centimeters.